Hey, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to be giving a review for the movie Superfly. Now this is a remake of the 1972 black exploitation film. Now this particular version is directed by a uh, music director, I think, Director X. And it's kind of, uh, it has like similarities to like the original Superfly, because I did see that one, but it was like a long time ago. <laughs> it's been like a while since I had seen that one, you know. But it does have like similarities to like that same, you know, film, you know. Because in the film you have a character known as a uh, priest. Now they are, they also call him Young Blood, you know. And he's actually, uh, he's looking to make one last like hit, you know, like before he like retires from like, I guess you could say the game, you know, <laughs> like the gang, you know. So uh, that's what the film is basically dealing with, with is him actually, you know, wanting to commit like a one last, like a, uh, I guess you could say like drug bust or something like that, you know, before he he gets out of like that kind of life of crime, you know, that, that lifestyle basically. Now at the beginning of the film, you know, if the, you, give, you get like a glimpse of what kind of character he is, you know, how he is, you know, and he does seem to be kind of like a, not overly in, intimidating, you know, but he is like, like pretty intimidating, you know, and I thought that was kind of one of the flaws of the film too as well, and he's played by Trevor Jackson. Because like his character at first does seem to be kind of like intimidating, you know. But once the film actually goes on, he kind of gets kind of, you know, like, kind of like low-key, you know. Like anybody can push him around at one point, you know. So I thought that was kind of odd, you know. But yeah, that's what the film is actually like, just dealing with, like, this, this character known as Priest, you know. He has, like, like accomplices, like friends and stuff, you know, who like, he kicks it with, you know, that he's a part of, you know. When he's running, like, his deals and so on, you know. And some of the people, you know, he gets into, like, uh, like uh, complications with, you know. And they kind of were, like, close allies, you know, but at one point they turn against him, you know. So he has to deal with, like, enemies turning against him. And he has to deal with, like, uh, other stuff on the side, too. Plus he has to deal with, now I'm, I ain't going to go into it too much because it's kind of spoiled the film, you know. But overall, it was kind of entertaining, but I did feel like, you know, it was, like, real, real good, you know, but it was okay, you know. And some of the characters in the film were kind of interesting, too, like, uh, Jason Mitchell as uh, Eddie, he does turn to be, like, a, a worthy ally, kind of an interesting ally, and I thought his performance was kind of well acted anyway, you know. You also have, uh, Michael Kenneth Williams as a uh, Scatter, and Scatter's kind of like a mentor to, like, young blood priest, he's actually bring priest until like the uh, the drug scene, you know, because you could see like a flashback sequence about a couple of them, you know, where you could see like a younger priest, you know, and he's still played by uh, Trevor Jackson. I know he's similar, you know, but uh, and he actually is like brought into like the drug scene by uh, Scatter, you know. You also have other people in here too, like uh, I'm not going to touch on them because like there's too many of them, you know. But I guess you can see like the um, the antagonist kind of the film is uh, played by uh, Asai Morales and he plays a uh, Alberto Gonzalez, I think that's how he pronounced his name. He's actually, I guess you can see, like, the antagonist of the film, the villain, you know. <laughs> but uh, overall, this film is, is packed full of, like, uh, like music stars. You have, like, like Big Boy in the film, you know, from Outkast. He play, like, plays, like, the mayor in the film, you know. You have, like, other musicians, like Rick Ross, you know, he makes an appearance and so on. You know? But overall, this film does have, like, some, uh, it does have a couple of, like, good action scenes in it, you know. And at times, it does seem kind of be, like, to be, like, far-fetched, you know. But, like, some of the action scenes they had in it were pretty good, you know. It is, like, a very stylish film. And, excuse me, at times, it does seem like a music video, you know. Like, like overly long, like, music video, because the way the, am the angles are cut and so on, you know. But I thought it was still put together pretty well. And I thought Trevor Jackson was pretty cool as a, like, young blood priest, you know. I thought he was pretty cool in the role, you know. But overall, uh, I, I, I kind of want to give this like a, a B minus. But in the end, I think I'm going to just give a super fly. Maybe I'm going to give this a C. And I would definitely recommend it for like fans of these kind of like films, you know, like crime like films, you know, I would definitely recommend it for that crowd, you know. So in the end, and especially if you're like a fan of these kind of like, um, I don't know what you call it, I guess you could say, not really a uh, music based, you know, but. Uh, I don't know if you're just a fan of these kind of like action crime films, I would recommend it, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I'm giving Super 5 a C. Please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.